Hey YouTubers, this is Ben with True Cable. Then today we're going to talk about why fiber optic in the home might be something you want to consider. We're going to think about some different ways that that can be done. And one way is fiber to the home. And along with me today, I have Dave Harris with True Cable. And I'm going to be talking, well, along with Ben, about when you can expect to see fiber optics actually inside your home. We're also going to look at the TIA standard and what that says in terms of installing fiber optic cable in the home. Maybe something you haven't seen before, so stay tuned. So we're going to discuss some various different things about fiber to the home. First off though, what is the difference really between fiber optic cables and copper cables? Well, some of the things is you have much faster speed, you can go much further distances, and you actually have much higher bandwidths. So those are some of the advantages of potentially thinking about it when you're thinking about putting it in your home. You might be familiar with the term FTTX, where X is filled in usually by a different letter, can have fiber to the curb, FTTC, fiber to the building, FTTB. But what we're talking about here today is FTTH, fiber to the hole. The reason we're talking about it now is because many ISPs are now providing fiber to the home and uh, the high speeds and bandwidths that go along with it. Here in Kansas City, you can now buy a service that provides up to eight gigabit per second ethernet to your home over fiber. More and more, we're getting questions. Okay, we're getting fibers hooked up to our home. How do we use the stuff in our home? If it's so fast, why are we still using copper in our home? So we're going to talk today about some situations and why you might want to have fiber in your home and how you can go about getting a head start on that now. So for residential applications, the TIA has a standard and it's called grade three. In that grade three standard, they call out fiber optic cable to each of the wall plate locations in the home. So essentially what that is, is one coax cable, two cat 6A cables, and two strand fiber optic cable. Sometimes you may want to use that fiber optic cable, actually connectorize it and make it usable with media converters perhaps. But a lot of times people are putting it in as a future use and it's get it's just a dark fiber optic cable waiting to be used for those future applications that come up. Why am I pulling in fiber optic cable into my home? Is there any benefit to it now? Well, really there is. And especially if you're doing a new installation, if you're doing a new installation on a new home, it's always good to pull in uh, as much as you possibly can. As those new technologies come about, as we start to see more and more high bandwidth applications, that fiber optic cable is gonna come into play and be extremely useful. And Dave, in fact, has a, a good use case that he's gonna describe for us. Well, it's video. Video is getting more and more needy when it comes to bandwidth and network speed. Right now, if, uh, if you're running 8K or 4K video, your uh, signal is compressed so that it can go over an ethernet signal. Right now, the best compression methods, as I understand it, rely on a 10 gigabit per second data stream over ethernet. And that can be achieved with copper, but it's the very limit of what you can achieve with copper uh, at long distances. As video requirements increase, copper cabling is not going to be able to uh, carry it anymore, especially if you want an uncompressed signal. People are putting fiber in their home for future video applications now. And you may be thinking about what kind of fiber optic cable should I be putting in? So we have single mode fiber, we have multi-mode fiber. And really either one is okay, but the recommendation really for residential applications, because typically your links are not gonna be thousands of feet, multi-mode cable would really be the preferred method. And the nice thing about that is your transceivers, the optics to do that is gonna be a much more affordable option for most people. And so multi-mode fiber would probably be the best application for that. So we just wanted to leave that information with you, share that with you, and really help you to see why it's important installing fiber optics in the home. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, happy networking.
looking for some more low voltage action? Check out our website below. We have our Cable Academy. We got some awesome videos to check out too. Stay tuned for some more.